Hi friends, this is Bakapa. Welcome back to Test Rest Talk channel. In the previous rest assured EPA testing tutorial, I have discussed about how to perform data driven testing using CSV file. In this chapter 10, I will discuss about how to perform data driven testing using Excel file in the rest assured EPA testing. Let's start discussing about how to perform the data driven testing using Excel file in the rest assured EPA testing. So let's see the scenario first, then we'll come back to the Eclipse and we'll implement the logic for that. And let's go to the Postman tool. So here I'm using the Create Booking API. And if you look at the request body, so this contains the multiple fields, right? So we are having the first name, last name, total price, and so on. So from the Excel file, we are passing the first name, last name, and total price. So these are the fields. And respective value we are keeping it in the excel file that's a multiple sets of test data we will be saving it in the excel file so for the first time we will pass the first set of test data and it will create the booking and then it will pass the second set of test data again different first name last name total price and again it will create the booking and so on so let's go to the eclipse let's implement this logic so first what i will do is so i will use the one of them one of the maven dependency so here i'll go to the google and i will search for pillow maven dependency so you can go to the maven repository first link and let's add the this particular maven dependency to the form.xml file and at the end of this form.xml file i will add the maven dependency so after that simply save the form.xml file and then so let's create the test data file so inside the src test resources folder i will go to the properties and i will go to the this particular folder so inside the resources i will create the one excel file here so here i'll say microsoft excel worksheet and i will rename this file as excel test data so that's it let's open this excel file and here i will add the four columns first one is i'll say run so this particular run we are using whether we have to get this particular test data or not because we will be spe specifying the yes or no in this particular rows all these rows let's say for example here i'm having the all the test data and here we are specifying yes or no value if it is specified it as a yes then only it will pick the respective test data for the data driven testing so here i'm adding the first name then i will add the last name field then i will add the total price field so that's it so let's add the three set of test data so here i'll add the first name as api testing by and in the last name i will add the testers top then in the total price i will add the thousand value so similarly i will similarly i will add the another, another two set of test data so here i'll simply drag this one so here in the second set of test data simply i will say rest assured by tester stock and total price is 1001 and the, in the third set of test data i will add the postman by tester stock and i will add the total price as 1002 so now so this is very much flexible guys so if you specify yes here then only that particular test data will be passed on to the our test method so right now i am specifying yes for all three set of test data so data driven testing will be performed with all these three set of test data for example if i am specifying no here then data driven testing will be performed by using the just two set of test data so we will see at the end of this session by passing the just two set of test data also we will make this one as a no so that it will pass only the two set of test data so this is all about the test data creation so make sure that you, you are remem remembering all these header names run first name last name total price so that's it guys because we will be using this particular run header name while writing the query 
So let's close this Excel file and we will go to the Eclipse now. So let's refresh this particular folder that is a SRC test resources and we will get the our Excel test data dot Excel SX file. Now we are having the test data file. Let's add the file location inside the file name constants dot Java file. So simply I will copy this one line number 19 and I will add the variable name as Excel test data and I will specify the file name. So we are having the Excel test data dot Excel SX. So that's it guys. So far we have added the Pillow Maven dependency then we have created the Excel test data file and then we have added the file location of the Excel test data. So now let's start creating the at the rate test and we will start implementing the at the rate data provider and which will fetch the test data from the Excel file and it will pass on to the our test method. So inside the com.testautomation.apitesting.tests inside this package I am adding the one class that is a test engine class. So simply select this package and press the control line. So you will get this window and simply type the class and you can select the test ng class click on next so let's add the class name so here i'm saying data driven testing using excel file so that's it so here we got the our java class now so let's maximize and let's format it and now i will update this method name with data driven testing That's it guys. So this is a pretty much about the at the rate test as of now. So first we will implement the annotation data provider and inside that we will write the logic to fetch the test data from the excel file. Right. So here, here I am adding simply at the rate data provider and inside this I will specify the name of the data provider. So here I'll add the name of the data provider as Excel test data. Then I will add the method name. Here I'll say public and followed by the 2D object array. So return type of this method is 2D object array and I'll specify the method name as get test data. So that's it. Right. So now what I will do is I will create the couple of variables so i will declare the couple of variables and later we will create the object for that and we will we'll start utilizing it in the while loop right so now so let's def create the object variable here so here i'll say object that's a 2d array and i'll say the reference variable name as obj array and alasan the null so right now we are just declaring the variables so this one we will return it right so at the end we are returning the two dimensional object array so here i'll say just return so at the end of the method after implementing the logic so this particular object array will hold the all the row test data here so just give me a second guys so that's it now so we are adding another Two variables we are declaring the two variables first one is map so we are declaring this map because we want to store the every row test data in the form of key and the value we are having the header and followed by the respective value right so we are storing the header is nothing but the key and the test our test data is nothing but the value here. value here so that's it and i will assign the null as of now and similarly so before that before we creating the list of map objects so let's import the map then here i'm declaring another variable called list of map objects so inside this i'll say string here i'll say string then i'll say the variable name as test data list so this particular variable holds the all the rows test data 
at the end of the this particular method and once it is holding the all the rows test data and we will send back one by one test data back to the this particular 2d object array then finally we are returning this particular object array and by using this one we can simply pass the uh, one by one test data to the our at the rate test method so now let's import the list from the java.util package so that's it guys now so here i'm creating the object of the fillow and by using that we can create the connection to the our excel file and after creating the connection we can simply execute the simple query and by executing the simple query we will get the results it is very simple it is very similar to the database guys so our excel file is nothing but the database and firstly we are creating the connection to the database and after that we are firing the query then we are getting the results set. so that's the reason here i'm creating the object of fillow and here i'll say new followed by fillow so let's import the fillow from the fillow api so after that here i'm declaring the two variables one is connection because we will be create, creating the connection to the our excel file so as of now i will assign the null and after creating the connection so we'll get the our result right that is nothing but the record set so i will create the another variable as record set then i will assign the null as of now. so that's it guys now so by using this fillow object i will create the connection so simply i will say fillow dot get connection so inside this we have to pass the our excel file test data location so already we have specified the file location right so here i'll say file file name constants dot here i'll say excel test data so this particular variable is holding the our excel test data file location and after that so after creating the creating the connection so we will get the connection right so i will simply assign to the our connection variable so that's it and because right now we are dealing with the excel file that's the input output operation with respect to the file right so it will suggest us to add the throw uh, throw declaration throws dec declaration sorry or you can surround this with the try and catch block so let's surround with the try and catch block so after this so once we have created the connection so simply we can execute the query simply here i'll say execute query right so we have to prepare the query now right so it's very simple query what we are going to write it here so here i'll say string followed by query and equal to so here i'm writing query as select star from then here we have to specify the sheet name so let's open the our excel file so this is the excel file what we have created and if you look at here we have the sheet name as sheet 1 so let's add this sheet 1 here as a sheet 1 after from and then it will specify the where condition then here i'm specifying the run because if you look at the test data so we are adding the one 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 column as run so inside that we are specifying yes or no value right in that particular column so if i if i'm specifying here yes only yes row test data will be picked for the our data driven test and if i specified no and that particular row test data will be not picked for the data driven testing right so that's it guys it's very simple so this is a very simple query we are what we are going to file to the our excel file now so let's close this particular tool that's it so let's pass this query to the our execute query method so after executing the query so this returns the record set so already here we have declared the record set let's assign back to the record set now right once we are having the record set so we have to iterate through the this particular record set for example one record set is nothing but the header name and followed by the first set of test data for example we are having the second record set that is nothing but one header value is there that's the headers and it contains the second set of test data that's the second row of test data 
and so on like this it contains so before we iterate through by using the while loop so here i'm creating the object of the array list right so if you look at here so here we have declared the line number 29 we have declared the list of map objects right so simply i will use this reference variable and here i'm creating the object of the array list and inside this one simply i will pass the map and here is a string and string that's it guys so why we are using this particular test data list test data list is so whenever we get the one set of test data that is a header is nothing but the key and respective first row test data is nothing but the value right so we have to basically get the header name and the respective value by using the header name and we have to add that into the our map object inside the while loop so now in this particular test data list we can add the all the row test data by add before we will be adding it to the our map object and we'll add this particular map object into the our test data list object right so now so simply i'm using the file because i want to iterate through the all this result set that's a record set so that's the reason here i'm writing the while condition so i will use the record set dot here i'll say next if there is a next record in the excel file simply you need to execute the this while condition so if there are no rows that is a no test data is present inside the excel file then only it will come out of, out of this particular while loop right so before we actually get the headers and the respective values so here i am creating the object of the map so if you look at in the line number 29 simply we have declared the map reference variable so here i i will create the object of the tree map so basically we, we can store the all the values in the form of key and the value so here i'll say tree map and inside this one i'll say just string and string and then inside this particular constructor i'm passing the string dot case in sensitive order so simply add, th add this particular thing that's not an issue so that's it guys so let's import the tree map and once you imported the tree map now so by using this record set we can get the header name and the for example let's say it is came inside this while loop for the first time this particular record set it contains the header names that is our first name last name and the total price and it contains the first row test data for the first time and whenever it comes the second time again it contains this particular record set contains the all the header names and the second set of test data and in the third time it will contain the all the all the header names and it contains the third set of test data and so on if excel contains the 10 set of test data and 10 times this particular while loop will be executed by using this record set we can get the header name and respective value here so now we are having the map object here so we have to add the key name that is nothing but the header and the respective value right so here what i will do is simply i will take this record set by using this record set i will get the header name and the respective value so here i'm writing the one for each loop and here i will add the record set dot get fill names so here i'm calling to the get fill names so this returns me the one by one all the header names so here i'll here i'll listen back to the field variable so for example first time it will returns me the first column header name run it will returns me and then it, it returns me the first name and then it returns me the last name then it will finally returns us the total price so this is a field name by using the field name we can get the respective test data right so here what i will do is simply i will use the test data dot put so here we have to specify the key name and the respective value so key name is nothing but the header name simply i'm passing the field here so by using the record set so i can get the simply here i'm saying get field so inside the field we have to pass the key name so we are here we are having the field name and this returns us the respective value for example if i open the excel file so this particular field contains the 
our header names all the header names one by one so let's say it is containing the first name and so we will get the first name i will add this particular first name header name into the our map object as a key and by using this record set here i'm calling to the method called get field inside this we are passing the simply this particular header name first name when it comes inside this particular while condition for the first time it gets this particular value and whenever it comes the second time inside this while condition it returns us the second set of test data and third set of test data and so on so let's close this excel file so that's it guys now we are having the first set of test data into the our map object right so whenever we get the test data that is a test row from the excel file we have to add that particular map object into the our list of map object right so at finally this particular test data list contains the all the row test data from the our excel file so simply i will use this test data list at the end and i'll say the add because it's the array list object and inside this simply we will pass the our test data that's it guys so see, this particular while loop will run till the end of the file so if there are 10 rows of test data it will run for 10 times and it will add 10 map objects into the our array list object right so once we are having the all the test data from the excel file so we have to cast this into the our 2d object array right so finally we are returning this particular ob array right if you look at in the line number 59 so now we are having the all the row test data in the list of map objects right so now i will create the object of the 2d array because we know how many rows of test data we have by using the our test data list because by using if i am using the test data dot size it will returns me the what is the size of the test data we have in the excel file so that's the reason here i'm creating the object of the 2d array so simply i will specify the one here and inside this one i will have to specify the total number of rows present inside the excel file so that i can get it by using the our array list right so if you look at here so every row test data we are getting here and at the end we are adding that into the our test data list so i will use this test data list dot here i'll say size that's it okay guys so that's it guys so what i will do is now so here i'll specify the new operator because i missed to specify the new operator so because basically we are creating the 2d object array inside this we are specifying the size of that particular 2d object array now so here i'm writing the one for loop so i will iterate through the our test data list object right so simply i will use this test data list object and by using this one here i'm calling to the size method so basically i am iterating through the all the our map objects from the array list so i will take one by one test data from the array list object by using the get so simply i'm passing the i and it returns me the one by one test data and i will assign back to the our object array because this is the this particular object array we are returning to returning in the end of this particular method so here i'll assign back to the object array then simply i will assign the i here then zero so that's it guys so we are done with implementing the logic which will fetch the test data from the excel file based on the yes row for example if i am having the 20 sets of test data if i wanted to execute with only the 15 sets of test data so that's also possible simply you need to modify this particular excel just we have here we have to specify the yes or no for the respective row of that row of the, that particular test data so that's it very simple guys now so far we have implemented logic for the reading the test data from the excel file now so we are done with the at the rate data provider implementation now we have to use this particular test data which is provided by the annotation data provider in the our test method now inside the test i will add the data provider name and simply i will copy the name of the data provider here 
that's it guys so it is capable of providing the test data but we have to accept that in the our test method right so that's the reason here i'm adding the one reference variable called map so if the data is present in the map simply by using the key we can access the perspective value right so here i'm saying the reference variable name as test data so let's verify where, whether we are getting the proper test data from the excel file or not then we will start creating the post api request then we will pass the first name last name and the total price to the post api request using the rest assured so here i'm using the test data object and simply i'm just verifying it whether we are able to read the test data from the excel file su successfully or not so that's the reason here i'm writing the system dot out dot print and dot sorry guys inside this one i'm using the map object followed by here i'm specifying the key so let's add the first name so it should print all the first names from the our excel file so let's execute this particular test now and it should print us the all the test data from the excel file so if you look at here in the console output so our test is getting passed right there are zero failures and if you look at here so we are having the three set of test data and if you look at here so this is the first name that is ip testing by test stock and followed by the we are having the run and as well as the total price and we in the if you look at in the second test data we are getting the all the proper values from the excel file right now let's start creating the post api request using the rest assured we will pass all the test data to the post api request and we will start creating the booking so what i will do is simply i will go to the one of the class called data driven testing using csv file i will open this class and simply i will copy the this post api request so after copying it i will close this class and i'll paste it inside the our data driven testing using excel file so just what we have done in this class is it's very simple so just we have created the post api request by using the rest assured if you look at here so like in the line number 34 we are passing the all the test data that is a first name first name last name so let's check out this particular object so if you look at here so here we are passing the first name last name additional needs total price deposit paid and booking dates right so if you look at here so simply we need to use the test data dot and after that here we have to specify the key so let's add the first name and then here i'll add the last name and then here we have to add the total price so before that so here simply we are casting this particular string to the integer type because total price is the integer value right so we have to pass this integer value to the this particular booking object right so simply i will specify the proper key value sorry the key name that is the total price then it will gets the total price from the our excel file and it will assign back to the total price and we are passing this total price to the our booking object then after that if you look at in the line number 41 41 to the 53 here we are passing the all the details that is the request body and here we are specifying the uri and here we are making the post api call so that's it guys so by using this particular test data object we are getting all the test data that is first name last name and the total price right so now let's execute this particular api test but before that we will convert this into the test range suit then we will execute the test range suit so i will simply right click on this particular class data driven testing using excel file and i will say test ng and i will convert to the test ng so here i will select the source folder inside this one i will add the test ng suit file name as data driven testing using excel then i'll say the dot xml then i will specify the suit name as data driven testing that's it so i will click on finish button so inside the suits folder we should be able to find the our test and the suit file so if you look at here so this is a this is a suit file what we have created just now 
So let's make sure that we don't have anything in the power logs file. And at the end, we will be validating the all the logs, whether we have created the proper post API request using the rest assured or not. So we don't we don't have anything in, inside the log file. So let's execute the our data driven testing using the Excel suit file. So let's maximize the console output. And if you look at here, it is started executing the APIs by passing the different set of test data. So for the first time, if, if you look at here, so it is passing the API testing by test stock and it got the response, right? And the second time, so it is passing the rest assured by test stock and then it is getting the API response. And then finally it is passing the postman by test stock and then it is getting the API response. And if you look at here, total test run is three because we are having the three set of test data and that's the reason it is showing the total test run is three. And if you look at here, so all the three tests got passed. So let's go to the our log file now. So I will open the app logs dot text file. And if you look at here, the very first request body. So firstly, we are passing the first name and last name as AP testing by tester stock and it got the response. That's the first time. And, and if you look at the second time, it is passing the rest assured by tester stock and it is getting the API response. And third time it is passing the postman by tester stock and it is getting the API response, right? So now what we will do is, so let's pass only the two set of test data. So I will go back to the file location and here I'll specify the yes for only two set of test data. So that only two times we are passing the test data to the that particular at the rate test method. So that is nothing but we are creating only two big bookings by using the two set of test data. So let's make no here. So for, for some times, because we may not require to execute the test by passing the all the set of test data, right? So that's the reason. So we have the flexibility to mention the yes or no. So based on that, it will pick the our test data file, test data from the our Excel file. So now it will pass only the two set of test data and it will create the booking. So let's save this and close the file. And once again, we will execute the our test in the suit file. So before that, we will clear the our log file. So that's it guys. So let's execute the suit file now once again. So let's open the console output. So if you look at in the console at the end, so we have the total test run is two because we are passing only two set of test data because I made yes for only two, two set of test data. So that's the reason only two tests are getting executed and that is getting passed, right? So let's look at the our log file. So if you look at here, so for the first time it is passing the API testing by tester stock and the second time it is passing the rest assured by tester stock. Only we have made yes for only these two set of test data, right? So that's the reason only these two set of test data are passing on to the our at the rate test method and it is making the post API call and then it is at the last it is validating the status code also. So this is all I'm having for the data driven testing using the Excel file in the rest assured API testing. I have an assignment for you. So you can try to pass all these fields that's all booking dates from the excel file check-in date and checkout date and also here we are having the deposit paid and also we are having the additional needs so all the attributes and respective values you can pass it from the excel file and you can try to pass more than five set of test data and at the end you can validate all the values that is the first name last name and other fields also you can validate in the api response so that will be your assignment you can try it try it out in your end and let me know in the comment section. This is Bakapa. Welcome to API testing full course. You can access all the exercise which we have done in the whole API testing course. I have already provided this link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the 
envir environment variable de details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. So what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export so this will export the environment variable details so after exporting it so you will get the these two files and once once you have the, these two files you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the firstly collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details so as i have already these apis in my system i don't want to import it and this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the api testing full course you can find all the code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course you can search with the backup ion github in the google.com and here you can go to the my github repository and over here in the repositories tab you will find the rest assured api testing framework you can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this uri and by using this uri and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the url so you will get the whole code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course